Buenos dias. I need to speak in English for this presentation. Uh, this is the Aaron update. In 2015, aaron has been focusing on a number of areas, um, one being the, their customer service based on feedback and survey results. There's a continued V4 or V6 transition awareness that's been going on through outreach. Um, Aaron's staff has been focused on reaching out to a number of ISPs and content providers to enable their, their websites on V6 via their um, Get6 campaign. Aaron's also continuing to participate in the internet governance forums and also on the, the planning for the IANA stewardship transition, which there's been a number of presentations on that topic this week. There's also continued development and integration of web-based functionality to, to make it easier for organizations to interact with Aaron via the website. Earlier this year, there was, a, there was an increasing trend when Aaron's policies changed to make the minimum allocation a slash 24. There were a number of organizations that came in and leveraged this this policy and there were a number of first time requests you know to make use of this but that item is actually lined out because Aaron's free pool is now depleted and that trend cannot continue so we're now seeing an increase in market based transfers including um, the inner RIR transfers they've been ramping up recently more organizations are also opting to be added to the the waiting list there is currently 68 organizations on the waiting list. And what the waiting list is, is people can request resources from Aaron, but if Aaron can't fulfill that request, they go onto this waiting list in the, in the possibility that Aaron acquires resources. And as Elise mentioned in the IANA update, Aaron received a, a slash 14 in September, which actually serviced or fulfilled 13 requests that were on the waiting list. The customer satisfaction surveys, um, Aaron's been following up on those action items. There's actually been progress made on the response to the ASCP requests. ASCP is Aaron's consultation and suggestion process. So members can you know, make suggestions on how Aaron should change um, their procedures or possibly add services and Aaron responds after um, analysis. They're also working to integrate transfers into their Aaron online website to make the, the process easier to deal with. The in-region um, integration work has been done and they're working on integrating the inter-region transfers into Aaron online. So the Aaron's free pool depleted on September 24th. The, that leaves the options of the waiting list and transfers and then of course always adopting IPv6 as the, the preferred option. There's also two pools of address space that still remain within Aaron and therefore specific purposes. One being a slash 10 was set aside for um, small transition assignments for IPv6. So if somebody needed to, years from now, needed to deploy a translation device, they would be able to obtain a small block from Aaron for that purpose. There's also a number of 24s that have been set aside as micro allocations for internet infrastructure and exchange points. Um, based on the, the presentation earlier this week, I, I hesitate to say critical. <laughs> There's a continuing trend in the region to, for the uptake of V6. Of the 5,200 members in the region, we've almost reached the halfway point where they have both V4 and V6, but the con trend continues and is likely to increase now that the free pool is depleted. For V4 transfers in the region, the 
The transfers to the specified recipients, the, basically the in-region transfers. There's been 309 prefixes ranging in size from a slash 24 all the way up to a slash 10, and along with 20 ASNs that have been transferred. And 175 of the prefixes have been transferred via the inner RIR process. Basically 174 of them to the APNIC region from Aaron, ranging in size from a slash 24 to a 13. There's actually been one transfer of a prefix in the APNIC region that has come to the Aaron region. The BAC actually has a number of proposals on their docket, which we're going to be discussing next week in Montreal. There's actually 11 proposals. Um, we've been a little busy this year because there, a lot of the community is wrestling with several topics that are mainly focused on continuing to make it easier for organizations to get v6 address space. And the other two um, primary topics are how does staff, how should staff interpret resources that have, that are Aaron resources but organizations are using outside of the Aaron region. The other topic is the ongoing debate over whether transfers or even um, allocations from Aaron in the event that they get more address space back, should they be based on a needs evaluation or no needs? So there's, those will all be discussed next week. And we're meeting next week in Montreal, and in April we will be meeting in Jamaica. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Gracias.